Dust in the Wind is a great finger style tune uh, and uh, you can play it pretty simply with an alternating bass uh, like this. So I'm just going to say the names of the numbers. Of course this Sit strings, right? Six, five, four, three, two, one. And if I hold the C chord in the first position, and it's third finger on the third fret of the A string, second finger on the second fret of the D string, open G string, and first fret of the B string, there's my C right there. And what I want to play is that C, but I only want to play four strings. I'm going to play the uh, the A string, the D string, the G string, and uh, and the B string. And I'm going to leave that. So here's my hand on here like so, right? So here's my there's my chord. All I'm going to do is alternate these numbers. 5, 2, 4, 3, 5. Now there's all different ways to play this. Um, at, you know, uh, uh, this is a, what, sort of a stylized way to do it and not too hard, but it's great. It's a great way to get your feet wet with, um, with uh, alternate uh, picking like this. So, C first. The next thing you want to do is a C major 7. So all you got to do is lift up your first finger and that adds the B. Right? Now the add 9, put your uh, pinky finger down on the 3rd fret of the B string. And then back to the C again. So you have this shape. Now let me see if I can show uh, both hands up here at the same time. Get more sophisticated with this if you want to. Now we're going to do the same thing with an A minor. So I have an A minor here uh, as my sus2, A minor sus2. That's just second and third fingers on the second fret of the D string and the G string. And then, uh, and then. So that's four. Just put your pinky finger back on the fourth fret, uh, on the third fret rather, of the B string again. And then back to the A minor, which puts your first finger back on the uh, first fret of the B string again. So now you have this. So all told, it's like so, it's from the C. Again, nice and slow, that'll be C, C major, add 9, back to a C, A sus4, that's with just two fingers, uh, uh, sorry, A sus2, A sus4, A minor, A sus2, C add 9, C, C major 7, C add 9, A minor, A sus2, A sus4, minor and then all together it's uh, something like this and that's the introduction and the rest of the chords are pretty straightforward so we'll go C and then a G uh, slash B, which really means a B over a G. So I'd make a G shape like this with two fingers right there, and I'll play the B at the top to open B string. So now, so that's C, uh, B over a G, A minor, G, D minor, and A minor. And again, one more time, C, B over a G, A minor, G, D minor seventh, and A minor. And then just to finish it up, uh, the phrase goes D, G, A minor, now D, D, G, A minor. So that whole section right there, uh, C,
that's the first little bit. Dustin Owen, great Kansas song. Uh, worth checking out, uh, and the, the alternating bass uh, strumming style is a really, really cool uh, tool to have in your sort of guitar playing arsenal. You know, because otherwise, you know, if, if all your stuff sounds the same, and I'm saying that it does, but if you, if the more things that you can do, like an alternating bass or um, pentatonic, you know, blue scale or whatever it happens to be, or different strumming styles, all of that stuff so make, makes it more interesting to play, and also consequently more interesting to listen to. So have some fun with this uh, dust in the wind. I'll probably do the rest of the song and uh, uh, and the lead part uh, sometime in the future. And if you're interested in lessons, www.paulelwood.com. Check it out. I got a ton of stuff up there that's uh, that's fun to look at. And um, I hope uh, if you're interested that you'll uh, reach out and give me a holler.